Alan here. Thanks everybody for watching and listening. I'm chatting with the wonderfully talented uh, Chloe Van Lanschlut about from season two uh, with a brand new episode dropping on the 18th, just in a couple days. So mm -hmm. the season is moving along quite well. Uh, and you all never cease to, uh, it's just fantastic. Thanks for your time. And uh, congratulations on all of this. It's a lot of fun. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks so much for having me. It's been a, it's been a wild ride for sure. <laughs> yes. We had your co-star Avery on last year and it was hey. fun talking about this. Yes. So this is a very different genre bending type of show. It's not like what mm -hmm. most people are used to, but it's a lot of fun. What has your experience been like with it? And with just a few episodes left, you know, what can people expect? Obviously no spoilers, but it's just been a lot of fun watching how the story has unraveled. Yeah, I think in season one, it was very much about kind of establishing this world that uh, John Griffin, our creator, built and integrating the audience into that and getting them to buy into this incredible, terrifying, incredibly terrifying land that all these people are just trying to survive and try to figure out how to build a community at the same time too it's super interesting um there's a lot of parallels and as fantastical as the show as it is and rooted in a horror genre it's also rooted in humanity yes and you just you watch these people try to survive and i think the audience members connect with them on such a visceral way because they see themselves in 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 these characters right they're going through real human things real human emotions, real human circumstances, uh, even though some of them are extraordinary. Um, so to be able to bring all of that to your characters and to the show and to the story is, is a lot of fun. You just get to show up and have your real feelings. <laughs> uh, and it's a, such a wonderful cast. Everyone's so present and hardworking and available to work with. And yeah, I have nothing but good vibes to say about it. <laughs> Yeah, well, your character, Christy, is fun to watch, and Avery was Sarah, or is Sarah. So let's talk about Christy. Who is Christy? If you had to describe them or put them into words and how they fit into the bigger picture of all this, because really, yes, it is a horror genre, but it also is a story about humanity and relationships. And I mm. think that's what I always find fascinating about these shows is although you may be rooting for one versus the other or this whole idea of good versus evil, it's not always necessarily so black and white, right? Because really, oh no, there's people it's... and they're humans. <laughs> and that's really what it's all of about. Of course. And humans are so complex and humans are not binary beings. We're constantly floating in, in the gray zone on this spectrum that is life. And I think, yeah, Christy is one of those people as well. Uh, I actually am also a healthcare worker. I'm a nurse, a registered nurse. So I got to bring a lot of that humanity to Christy. So to describe her, I would say she's <laughs> not too far off from me in terms of when she's at work. Uh, but off, off, <laughs> off work in relationships, I think she puts a lot of pressure on herself to be so available to the community, to to has carried such a sense of responsibility for what uh, she's uh, for her role in the town. And that puts a lot of pressure on her and requires her to put a lot of her own feelings and desires away. And I think in season one, we, the audience can learn to trust her. She shows up, she does her job. She's got everyone's best interest at heart, but she keeps her cards close. We don't really know too much about what's going on inside. And there's a lot. So I think the arrival of Maria really forces Christy to hold a mirror to where she's at and to really start to reflect on like how much, who am I? You know, I think season two for Christy is an identity journey as well in terms of figuring out who she is since being here. And I know the pacing of this season is so fast that we don't really get to spend a lot of time with these characters. No, that's sitting and reflecting. Game, but that's how it is. <laughs> yeah, but that's how it is. And I think we, the audience really watches Christy get pulled in so many different directions. It's constantly this battle between, yeah, like her duty to this town and the responsibility she has and also her desires and her heart and the conversations that she wants to have but can't because she's constantly being pulled and I think we the audience really starts to see that wear on her and that 
composure that she's created for herself for the town to trust her is starting to crack away. She's there's an infantile way of coping that she has. When she freaks out, she really freaks out. There's not really a, an in between. It's just all or nothing. So yeah, the yeah, gas she's is, going the through gas, it. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you Going for through your, it. what you do also. I knew that about you, but I wasn't sure we could mention it or you wanted to mention it, but you did. So that's cool oh, about yeah, what you do. And I think that just adds more layers to the character. Your number one is, of course, Harold. And the, the cast is just so talented. You share scenes with a lot of people, but is there somebody and you know, I'm not putting you on the spot here that you haven't shared scenes with or not as much that you want to share scenes with more, hopefully, if a season three comes along. Oh, yeah. I would love to do a scene with Scott McCord who plays Victor. I would be so intrigued as to what that scene would be. Uh, he's such an incredible actor, too, and an amazing person and a dear friend. And yeah, I would love to see Victor and Christy have to navigate something together. <laughs> well, who knows? Sure. I mean, the world is so wide open. And mm -hmm. well, at the time it was Epics, but now it's MGM Plus. You know, mm -hmm. that really is, <clears throat> excuse me, getting on board with the streaming game and creating original series which is, I think, what people want because there's so much choice for content, right? Like you, I mean, yeah. there's like millions and millions of streamers and it's then you crazy. Can find mm -hmm. a show like this that really hits the sweet spot. So where did the journey begin for you as an actor? Because really this is a big hit for you uh, having done other things before and this is really putting you in the public eye, but when did you become interested in acting and how did that journey begin as a storyteller? <laughs> Yeah, I think it, it it found me in a way. I sure. uh, I've always been a performer my whole life. I grew up dancing and competing uh, as a dancer, and then never really saw it as a career. I mostly just did it because I loved it. And and I grew up in a small town, so like the art cultivating an arts career wasn't always um, the number one thing that the high school guidance counselor was supporting. Uh, but no. I did. I loved science. I was a little. I was a little geek, and I originally wanted to go into medicine. I always wanted to be in healthcare. Then I got to school, and then I was like, I don't want to be in school for forty years. <laughs> I want to kind of hit the ground running. So I went to nurse, nursing. Was the best acting school actually I've ever gotten. I mean, you see so much humanity in a single day, and vulnerability, and perspective, and it was. Uh, the biggest gift I could have ever done for myself in terms of acting. Uh, so right when I started, I did some student films and stuff in school and really loved it. But again, I was focused on just getting my degree. And then uh, I started my nursing career in Emerge at a busy downtown hospital and realized I was a deeply sensitive person uh, and started taking acting class. And I found class to be this like amazing place to just let it all, like let your freak flag fly. Like there's no boundaries you can let it all out and it felt amazing to feel that alive and I was a terrible actor when I first started I was just like very full but like no craft like just limbs and <laughs> tears and everything everywhere it was just like a mess but uh my very first acting coach he, he believed in me he was like you have something here we just you have no craft it's a little messy but like just keep working on it so I just kept training and started to understand how all of like all of that deep feeling and all of that life that I've lived like has a can serve story and I learned how to yeah use my instrument to help tell stories and here we are yeah yeah absolutely so is the goal to continue doing what you do as a vocation or is the the dream to just be able to have that as a skill set and do this full time I'm not sure where that lands for you I know it's different for every actor um but yeah. I think it's honorable to be able to do both because yeah. I mean, you, you have that passion because you know, you have a great role. You're, you're on the show. We see you, we know you, we've seen you in other things, but it just, it depends. It's different for everybody. Right. So um, at the end of the yeah. day, it's pretty flowy. I think uh, I worked really hard for that license and I'm always going to keep it close. How it, it, how it transforms in terms of, uh, 
what I'm focusing on will shift. But right now it's definitely kind of film and TV world. And I think my worldview in terms of what's possible with, with film and TV has opened up as well. I directed my first short um, and thank you. Yeah. And kind of did a little circuit with that. And Scott McCord and I made another film. So we're working on that. So I feel like things have just expanded because of the show. The show's offered, the show has been this big, big gift to, to invite me into a world that is bigger than the one I thought was possible. So, yeah. Well, congratulations from season Thank two. You. Uh, we have a brand new episode dropping uh, episode nine on the 18th on MGM plus our guest, Chloe, congratulations on all of this. I've been a big fan since season one. We've been working to get you on and, the opportunity came about. So thank you so much. And yeah, it's exciting me. to see what's next for you. I mean, the world yeah. is literally limitless. The sky is the limit because you totally. you've made smart choices, which will go well for you uh, in <laughs> yeah, the long run. Yeah. And you're kind, which is the biggest key to success in this business, I think, is just being kind to people and <clears throat> embracing every moment. Thank you so much. And uh, you have, I appreciate your time. This was a lot of fun. I can't wait to see how this yeah. season ends. <laughs> yeah, me too. Thanks, Brett. Thank see you. See you later.